Oh yes, Cameron is exceptional. Cameron is a product designer. So he is the sort of person who is literally sitting, sketching artwork like this all day, every day. And to do these sort of technical drawings, you need the know-how, but you need the tools. So what Cameron's done is he's put together a complete collection so that if you are someone, you know there's an aspiring designer, either you are or there's an aspiring designer in your family, this is gonna be the set for them, okay? Now let me show you what's in the collection. All of our classic markers, because these are all of the ones that are gonna allow you to do, this is, this is what product designers are gonna be using because all of these have that fine nib and also that chisel nib to work from. So you've got big areas you can be doing the chiseling down. You see, you see them in the studios with their big pens doing this, don't you? I've, I've seen the adverts, okay? Now, you get a light, a medium, and a dark within the grey. So within the ice grey family, we get two, seven, and ten. So you're going to learn how to do shading on things like the wheel that we've got here. And then also we've chosen, or I should say Cameron's chosen, the beautiful oranges. So the oranges are basically how you can get the shading, but how you can just bring a pop of colour, whether it's things like your bike design, or whether you know someone who is sitting sketching some bees, or I love this one here, the ballet slippers, right? Or what about this one, the carousel? Aren't these fabulous? It's all about just that little pop of colour for a design and you get those pops of colour with the orange there. There's also in this set one of the art liner pens which means that you can do all of your own sketching and drawing for you to be able to then colour with. Now let me show you what Cameron's put together. So if we just take this bike for example, he knows that for a new kid especially to get started drawing this it's going to be really difficult to draw it from scratch. So what he's done is he's given you the starting point. So not drawing the whole thing, but giving you the outline and the starting point, okay? And what I've done is I've started just adding a little bit of colour and design myself. So can you see here? This is how it started. Let me show you with this back tyre how I've how I've done what I've done on the front, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to start off first of all by colouring all around the tyre with the very, very lightest grey. And all of these have been printed onto a really special type of paper, which is the one that you're going to be able to do this blending technique on and get the best blend. So it's about, about having all the right tools, not just in terms of the right, uh, the right pens, but also the right paper to work on here, okay? Then what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the very, very darker shade. So you're going to follow, whereas we've got shading here I'm going to do the same here I'm just going to put the very very deepest shade coming across these corners so around the back and then a little bit round the front as well okay so we get the very darkest shade in here and then you're going to come to the medium shade and we're going to blend out that dark shade into the medium one can you see so I'm going to essentially bleach out the darker shade with the extra alcohol in the lighter shade one and this is what it's all about. It's learning about where light sources come from and learning about how to get that shading from one to the next, okay? So I'm going to just bring in the next little bit just above here. So there's, there's my next kind of darkest tyre as it was, right? So you now can't see where one ends and the next one starts. Then I come in with my very lightest shade, blend over that one again, and now you can't see where the middle one ends and the lightest one starts. Can you see that there? So blending again over the middle shade with the lightest one. The greys are a brilliant family to do this with, uh, to practice that perfect blending. So you can see now how we've got a truly rounded looking tyre blending from one shade into the next. So it looks truly three dimensional, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to bring your art liner pen in and you're just going to add a little bit of sketching around the edge there. So you're going to put your own sketching into this. So he's giving you like a starting point and you can follow your own sketch pieces round and just build this up. So I can put some spokes in here as well. And it's, it's completely up to you where you take this to. But bear in mind, you've got all of this included in the instruction manual. And also go and follow Cameron on Instagram and learn exactly how he does all of his product design and the tools that he uses and then you can be learning and following along his journey as you go using the right tools and equipment. Let's have a look. I'm just going to ground this little piece here on a little bit of this there. So, oh, I look very artistic now. Like those, all those product designers. 
little bit of colour. Give it, give it, give it the ground to stand on. It looks so much more realistic now, doesn't it? Actually, it looks like it stood on the ground. This is the thing, though. For the price point that you've got on your screen, it's getting a, someone new into our world, into the world of colouring or into the world of graphic design, into the world of art, because we're giving them not only all of the tools they need, but all of these instructions. So you see here, you learn about Cameron. He talks you through all of the different tools and what you need to know about them. And then he starts to explain to you, you know, how we draw uh, rough drawn timber, how we how we observe, warm up, take this through to your practice. He's going to teach you the design stages that you need to walk you through this whole project. And then all of the tools to get you started, whether it's the paper, whether it's the special pens, everything you need is in that kit so any of you aspiring designers out there or you know of an aspiring designer brilliant kit to get them started mm -hmm.